This is a quick demonstration on exactly what you're looking for with this exercise, where you're drawing out the contours of midtones, highlights, and shadows. You're going to have your choice between several images of people printed out. Uh, for this demo, we're just going to use this image of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So zoom in right in over here. You're going to see me drawing a bright green line right over here. We see a dividing line between two different areas of value. On the right side over here is a light gray, and the left side over here of that line, that's paper white. Your goal here is to trace out in as much detail as possible all of the areas, all of the closed shapes where you can notice a change in dark to light, medium gray to dark gray, or any kind of significant change in value. One of the things you want to watch out for is you don't want to leave lines hanging as just single lines. Okay. You can lift your pencil. There's no rule against that, right? But as you draw out these closed shapes, you want to make sure that in the future, if you were to choose to do so, this is something you can actually go uh, go in and shade in later on. Right over here, you can see a small area of light gray within this larger area of white. At the tip of the nose, you can see a slight change in value where it gets a little bit darker. At the right side nostril, there's this uh, lighter portion, small lighter portion right in here. You're trying to capture as much as you can. Particularly when it comes to the eyes, I'll show you a really common mistake I want you to avoid. Single line up here, single line down there, and just the iris. Okay, That's, that's the perfect non-example of how we're going to draw this out. Instead, what you want to do is really take a much closer look. There is a cast shadow, a very tiny cast shadow right here, being created by uh, Dr. King's upper eyelid. Okay, so you want to double up that line and carve yourself out a contour, a shape that looks something like this, something you can actually fill in, okay? Not unlike what you might see in a, in a paint by number situation. So again, no single lines that are just hanging by themselves. You can't color in or shade in a, a single line. What you want to do instead is, yes, capture that edge, but bring it right back up so that there's a closed area, and within this small closed area, you can even notice smaller subdivisions between areas that have a different, um, yeah, it, where, where it goes from darker to lighter in a noticeable way. Eyebrows as well. You're gonna be doing this with pencil, okay? But I'm giving you this digital demo because the, the green, the green is a little easier to see. So this is a, if, if this is your first time doing this, it's a very unusual way of drawing a person out. Usually the main focus is on drawing out the eyes, nose, and mouth, and you kind of call it a day there. I don't mean this in a demeaning way at all, but this technique, you're, you're almost trying to forget that you're, draw, you're drawing a person, right? You're kind of putting the blinders on and just focusing your attention on the areas that are very dark, the areas that are medium gray, and the, air, the areas that are paper white. So that's the digital portion of the demonstration. Let me show you a good physical example of what a finished product's gonna look like. So this is student work right here, and it's quite exemplary. This is what you're gonna be setting up for yourself. The printout in the front, when you flip it over, you should be able to see the transferred line work, okay? So if you read the directions of the assignment, this is the first thing that you're gonna do, okay? You're shading in the back and you're covering the backside of whoever you're drawing, who, who, whoever you, you chose, and uh, you're getting the backside of the paper filled in with even dark tone, okay? This is graphite right here. 
make sure that's on the back side, the back side of the print, okay? Not not on the back side of this fresh sheet of paper, okay? This fresh sheet of paper is just there to receive the transferred lines, okay? So again, this is step one on the back side. You're going to fill this in before you draw anything, okay? You're going to fill in the tone. Once you do that, you tape the print, okay? You're going to take the print, tape it over the top side here, okay? Onto the blank sheet of paper. And then when you have it stacked up and in position, you'll be able to draw over all the contours, just like we demonstrated, with your pencil using firm pressure. And as you draw, the pressure itself is going to transfer the line onto the uh, second piece of paper. Okay, This shows you a good example of the level of detail and thoroughness that you want to be aiming for. Okay, hope that helped guys. Good luck and I'll see you in class.